All right, we're here in San Clemente riding my new favorite bike. Yes, I think I'm getting rid of the Giant. I still have it, but this might be the new ride, the Norco Range C2 carbon frame, huge battery, Shimano motor, 27 and a half wheels. I put some Ibis 738s, coil shock, 180 travel up front. This thing's sick. We got Team Norco today. Got my good buddy Nick. What's up? He doesn't talk, he just rides. Same bike. We're gonna go shred, see what we think. Is it on? Yeah. Dude, are you gonna still, you're gonna ride with this tag on there? I haven't read the manual yet. It says read manual first. All right, read that thing so we can take that tag off. Jeez. All right, Top of Lobo, what are you saying? It just seems like with the seat angle so much further forward, hitting those jumps, the seat wasn't in your way like a traditional seat yeah. where it's back a little bit further. Now I noticed that also. Mine, I have the seat post not high, but it wasn't super low and it felt like the seat was gone once it's down. Wait, let me get my goggles. I'm taking it slow on the waterfall. You can't take it slow. All right, we're hitting Lobo. It's a little chunky trail, fun, flowy. See how this baby handles. Gonna take it slow on this waterfall section. It's gotten really gnarly. Usually we come through here brakeless, but it's a little scary nowadays. Nick will still fly through there pretty fast. Yo. Oh yeah, a little loose. All right, right here, I'm gonna slow her down. Cause it's scary. He's going fast. Oh, so much better under control. Speed. You. Oh, dummy. Oh, oh this bike's so smooth. Rear coil is on point. Oh, that was a perfect speed. Nice job. That suspension in the back is so smooth. So quiet. So plush. Fox Elite performance. I'm usually a factory guy. And this feels better than my Fox factory. So nice. Some of it's brand new, but just set up so plush for the e-bikes fun little jump line see if I can hit it smoothly been a little slacker perfect but good enough got it yeah that first jump i was like Woo! The fire road one? no the uh Double? second yeah oh man let's talk about this thing it rides so smooth don't you think it's insane seriously it is like what do you think it is the coil ergonomics everything i just think it's the, the suspension is you know fresh 180 mils, so there's a lot of room for it to, uh, to absorb. You know, so the, sh the shock fortune is way more plush. Yeah, it feels, this is the plushest e-bike I've been on yet, for sure. And my Giant had 170, 160, but had the X2 in the back, which was great. 
but you can feel it hit hard sometimes and this one just feels like a cloud and those forks i gotta say they're about the smoothest forks i've ever ridden yeah it feels really good and i really didn't do much i set up the air maybe a pound or two more than recommended and then i clicked it about two pound two clicks more than what recommended just to stiffen it up a little and it feels so good Nick forgot his water bottle holder, so he's got his, he's high end, so he hits a Perrier, Perrier water in the back, and his wallet on the other side. If we ever want to go eat, he's always got money ready for us. I know, but are you trying to hit the finish, you think? See how you feel. You mean the jump? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it yet. Almost. All right, go. Jump line. Gary's seen our guy. Oh, squirrel. Almost got you, little buddy. First, you'd like to hit it. Nice job. <laughs> All right, so far, what do you think? Scale of one to ten? Loving? Loving. Disliking? I'd say nine. I'd say an, an eight or a nine right now, and let's see how it goes. A couple more rides, but Spike is great. Yeah, I really like it so far. I could use a little more motor power, but. That's the only downer, which I think is Shimano in general. It doesn't matter what bike you're on. I've ridden the uh, Pivot, the Common Saw, all Shimano motors, and they all feel the same. But but it's not terrible. It's just the Levo has but more the, power. But the key is we want to go down. Yeah. So the downs are the best. Right. And this Uphill, bike, we're working more, but that's good for us, I guess. Yeah. And this bike just so far is the best e-bike I've ridden downhill. On jumps, everything. All right. Let's keep it's it up. Plush. Let's do one more. One couple more. Our buddy Warren clears this thing. It's pretty nasty. I've yet to make it. You. Oh, building some new stuff. Somebody's getting into it. Just call the narrows. You can see why. Oh gosh, <laughs> I barely made that. That was fun, stuffy. If you haven't tried one, hit up my buddy Norco, or sorry, hit up my buddies at Sonoran Cycles in Arizona. Tell them Bike Park 167 sent you. They will hook you up. You. 
What's one of your big tests? Oh, I love bikes that when you ride without cams. Oh, in the dirt. That you can control it so easy. Yeah. Like the Revo's kind of like this. My Nomad, it's a little wandery, but this bike is. Dude, so this awesome. thing, I mean, I don't even need handles anymore. We can probably start riding without handles. Let's take the handlebars off, that'll save another Let's pound. Stand up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly. And that's pretty good. I'm the king of the world. I could not do that on my other bike. Yeah, me no neither. Way.